Now I am become death. The father of the atomic bomb. J. Robert Oppenheimer was a renowned American physicist who played a pivotal role in the development of the atomic bomb during World War II. His scientific contributions and leadership as the director of the Manhattan Project made him a prominent figure in the field of nuclear physics. With the outbreak of World War II, Oppenheimer's scientific expertise led him to play a crucial role in the Manhattan Project. As the director of the Los Alamos Laboratory, he oversaw the research and development efforts that resulted in the successful creation of the atomic bomb. Oppenheimer's leadership and scientific guidance were instrumental in bringing together a team of brilliant scientists who worked relentlessly to harness the power of nuclear energy. While Oppenheimer's contributions to scientific advancements cannot be denied, his involvement in the development of the atomic bomb also raised ethical and moral questions. It's going to work all right, Robert, and I'm sure we'll never be sorry for it. But in 40 seconds, we'll know. Minus 30 seconds. After witnessing the destructive power of the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Oppenheimer expressed regret and became an advocate for nuclear disarmament. His conflicted stance on the use of nuclear weapons led to scrutiny and accusations during the McCarthy era. A few people laughed. A few people cried. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that, one way or another. During the early 1950s, Oppenheimer's political views and associations with leftist organizations came under suspicion, leading to a security clearance hearing. Accused of being a security risk, Oppenheimer faced intense scrutiny and ultimately had his security clearance revoked in 1954. This event tarnished his reputation and limited his access to classified scientific research. Oppenheimer continued his scientific endeavors and became a professor at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton. He made significant contributions to theoretical physics and continued to be a respected figure in academia until his death in 1967.